Shopify shipping tutorial. Set up Shopify shipping and delivery. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how you can get started with setting up your shipping and delivery settings on Shopify because sometimes it can feel super complicated to set up shipping and you don't know exactly what you're shipping and whether or not your drop shipping products are included and all that can be a little difficult. So let's break it down and let's get into it. Now, the first thing you have to do is log on to your Shopify store. Once you're logged on to your Shopify store, you're going to go into settings on the bottom left. Once you go on to settings on the bottom left, you will see a panel on the left side and over here you have the option of shipping and delivery. So in shipping and delivery, you're going to find all of the settings for your particular items and you're just going to get started with editing these. Now we're going to break it down step by step. So let's break it down. Now, the first thing you will see on the top section in your shipping and delivery tab is your shipping section. Now, in this section, you're going to choose where your products are going to be shipped at. Now, for people that are selling services on Shopify, you can obviously sell services worldwide, especially if it's something that's online, online courses and stuff. But for product, it's going to be super variable. So you can click on this icon over here and you can select the particular products that you have. Then you can set up your shipping zones. So first off, we have a domestic shipping zone. Then you have an international shipping zone. Let's say I'm going to start from scratch and I'll show you guys how you can set these up. So the first thing you're going to do is click on create zone and then you're going to choose your countries. Now, let's say that I want to search for countries. Let's say I want to sell my products in Canada. I can go on ahead and add a particular zone such as the international zone like this. And I can go into the market section over here and you will see that in your market section, you can click on add market and then you can search for all countries that you want to potentially integrate into your market. So let's say I want to integrate Europe, North America, Oceania, and I will click on add market. So let's say that this market is called all markets. And usually it's super easy for you to get started with building these kinds of markets because you can add all of the markets that you could potentially ship to. And then in the shipping section, you can only include the markets that you are actually uh, shipping to. So people are setting up their account and they're like, oh, maybe they ship to you. If there's no shipping option, they would automatically know that, okay, this product is not being shipped currently. So you will see we have our international zone as well. And I can delete this particular zone and we can see that there are multiple different countries that are covered in our zone. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create zone. Now you can create zones based on even closeness to your city, you know, present in one region. You can create a zone that's present in, in the, you know, same country, but it's a different region. So let's say I want to add Canada or all market. Obviously you can select whichever country you want. So um, let's say I want to take the all market section and from here I want to maybe include China and then all the Chinese provinces would be added in one section and then let's say maybe I don't ship to certain regions in China. I could just simply unselect those and then click on done over here. Now I can set up a custom rate for China. This is going to be how you set up rates because your rates would be variable. Now, some people go for a flat shipping rate. That's one way to go about it. But if you're doing international marketing, then it's going to be very difficult for you to set a flat out rate because domestic shipping is definitely going to be cheaper. Now, you will see we have our domestic shipping added over here as well. So you can click on add rate and you can use a carrier app to calculate rates or set up your own rates. So let's say I'm going to add a standard rate, which is 100, and then you can add conditional pricing. And let's say based on order price, and let's say the minimum price that people should be ordering is 30, and on the maximum, there's no price. So it's based on price like this and click on done. Now this is my first shipping rate. So if someone spends 30 and up, the fee is 100. Then I can add another rate. And this is going to be, let's say if someone is um spending more than 400 the standard shipping and add conditional pricing and the price would be zero if someone is spending a minimum of three or four thousand like this 
and then I can click on done. So I've set up one free shipping and one standard shipping. Now I have named both the standard shipping. So I'm going to click on edit right. And then I'm going to rename this free shipping like this and click on add free shipping and then click on done on the bottom right. And in this way, I can cover any region that I want. Now on the bottom, you can start shipping to more places by going to your markets and you can start adding more markets like we just did. Now I added all my countries in one market section. I don't recommend you do it for a more advanced store, but if you're just someone that's starting out, it's totally fine if you do that. It really doesn't impact you that much. Now you can see I have China over here. So I want to click on add rates and I'm going to set up my own rates, which is going to be standard. And let's say the standard rate is going to be 1000 and then I can click on done, which is non-conditional for China. Now I can click on create zone and I can bolt my new zone over here. So let's scroll down and take a look at the different countries we have. So taking a look at Latvia. So let's say we have Latvia over here and you can even add more markets as you go, but I'm going to add latvia laos lebanon and maybe hungary now i can click on done over here and now once i've created this new section or new mumbling of countries i can click on these three dots click on edit zone and then what i'm going to do is you will be able to see no rates customers in this zone won't be able to complete checkout i'm going to click on add rate which is going to be our new rate and this might be called international latvia rate and then this might be 2000 and then i can click on done now you can take all international countries if all of your international orders you're going to be taking have the same rate you don't have to do it section by section like i just made a separate one for china and then a separate one for latvia so if all of your international shipping is going on one flat rate, then you can just click on create zone, click on all market, and this will select all of your market. And you can just name this shipping called international zone and then click on done. Once you do that, you can click on add rate and you can add the rate name based on price. And then the minimum price, let's say we charge 1000 for all of our international shipping. And then if you scroll down, you have a minimum price. Let's say I don't take any international orders below the price of 7,000. And that's the basic shipping that we have. So we're gonna click on done over here. And in this way, you can set up your shipping and delivery. Now with your delivery, it's going to be very variable depending on what kind of products they are and what kind of shipping providers are available in your particular market. You can go into your shipping settings as well to get started with further shipping information and how you're going to deliver your items. Obviously, delivery is going to be a very important section. So if we go back into shipping and delivery and we scroll down over here, we have expected delivery dates. We're going to turn this on if you want. Then after that, you have order routing. So automatically route orders to fulfillment. Then you have your local delivery. Now, if you want to deliver orders directly, you can click on this icon. This location offers delivery and you can set a delivery radius where you can send parcels out from your warehouse or from your point of sale system. Now after that you also have local pickup options and then you have saved packages. Now you can add a package to show accurate shipping rates at checkout and usually they will just use a basic a shipping calculator to actually calculate the rates for shipping. Now after that you also have packing slips so you can list uh, items printed out and included in your shipment and you can add custom order fulfillment as well so you can get started with packing orders and delivering them to your customers. Now you can also click on the Shopify app store for you to be able to further customize your delivery and shipping sections. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out.